All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Furious video with Fat Phil. And today we're going to be talking about galactic power. And before you go and click off of this video because you hate me, um, no, galactic power is one of the most misunderstood statistics in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And I think you need to understand a lot more of its the backstory and the origins of it to now understand the role that it plays in today's game. Because it is a very important number, but in many cases, it can be just a number. So there's times where it's one of the most important metrics and other times where like it doesn't matter. So we're going to talk about those. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And of course, let's give a shout out to our channel members so much for all their continued support. Again, if you're ever interested in joining, link down below. These guys get perks, whether it's during live streams. There's a special section of the Discord, which is also linked down below where they get a lot more direct access to me. Um, I do want to apologize to Death Destroyer of Worlds. I was trying to help you with Ray, but my internet was really bad today and then my boss called, so it just turned into a disaster. Um, but again, these guys, if you need help during, you know, like a Galactic Legend event, stuff like that, you can normally ping me. We try and set that up for a time that does work for me, but I will help you with that. So again, if you're ever interested, link down below. Let's get into the video. Let's talk about Galactic Power. So Galactic Power is one of the first things you look at when you look into a character, right? When you, or when you look into a player, you oftentimes the first thing you'll see is their Galactic Power. And that's because it is a very important number. And that's because it's your context. I think so often in Galaxy of Heroes, we just, you know, if I told, if I told you that my account is 10.4 million, you'd be like, cool. But like, what is that 10, what makes up that 10.4 million, right? The, the, the context is, oh, well, your 10.4 million looks like this. And then you could critique my roster from here and say whether or not you think this is a good roster or a trash roster. Hint, mine's trash. Um, <laughs> oh, this is a blast from the past. Shout out Fluffy Bunny for calling my roster trash. I hope you're doing well wherever you are, dude. <laughs> God. Um, oh, that's that's it. There are very few players who would get that joke now. Um, but, you know, it, it provides context to your account that if you're 10 million galactic power and you have like four galactic legends, I'm going to look at you a lot differently than if you're 10 million galactic power with eight or you're 10 million galactic power with seven, but you've got Afra and you've got Cal, right? That it provides context to your account. It says, hey, here's all the things you have, and this is how much power it took to get there. Because power is also a sign of like, you know, how, um, what's the wording I want to use here? How focused you are, right? That if you have a lot less power and more stuff, you've been a lot more focused. You haven't gone on these tangents, done side farms. Whereas if you have a lot of galactic power, but not as much to show for it, at times that means that you've done a lot more side farms. And by as much to show for it, we're talking about your big ticket items, galactic legends, S tier ships. Those are normally the big things that players are looking at, right? They're not often looking to see if you have um, home one endurance and executrix. They're looking at, you know, do you have the GLs? Do you have Leviathan, profundity, executor? Now, the other thing with galactic power Again, like I said, it helps provide context. It's also a very important number because for guilds, it's the number that says, hey, do you really belong here or not? And here's where I'm going to go with. So my guild is almost 550 million galactic power. So that means across the, if we just look here, across the 50 players that we have, the average player has roughly... 11 million galactic power really it's like 10.9 something with this number but call it 11 million galactic power across 50 players so me with 10.4 million i'm actually in the bottom part of this guild i'm one of the smaller members of the guild but i'm at least within a number i normally say for guilds that you take if you take your average and less it by a million that's normally the caliber of player you can still let in and i feel that holds pretty well at any level of the game that if you're a guild with a hundred million galactic power which means your average player has two million you let in somebody with a million you're not going to notice that big of a difference are they as good as somebody with two no but you're not going to notice this big drop off that's only why i say you look like a million under and it's still okay i've held that theory for a long long time and that's not just because i happen to be a million under like i've thought that for forever but for a lot of guilds, they use galactic power to filter out the... Like, that's the first thing you're going to filter out to say whether or not you belong here. Hey, you want to come to Sigma Alliance Mandalorians? 
you better be at least 10 million GP, right? We're not going to look at you if you're below that. You, you, won't, you don't even matter to us, right? And that's not us being, like, mean. That's just, this is the level that we want our guild to be at, so we need to have players with this GP. And then we're going to say, hey, now you've got 10 million. Show me what's in your 10 million. Don't just have 10 million GP of garbage. Have 10 million GP that's actually going to benefit this guild, that's going to help us do something. So that's where galactic power kind of starts to become a number, is that it's very important to help get your foot in the door. But then it starts to become a number, and the, what's in your roster starts to become more important. And that's where I think so many players go wrong, is we either you either get blinded by what's in the account and not really looking at, hey, what's their galactic power? Like, this is where they should be, compared to, okay, you have all this galactic power, but what do you have to show for it? And so galactic power is a, you know, again, it's that contextual clue. It says, hey, this is what was really important in the game. And if you don't have as much GP, you need to normally make up for it with more high level stuff. And then if you have a lot of GP, you better have the high level stuff to back it up, kind of. It is it is what it is. Um, so anyway, that's the first part of galactic power, right? Now, I said I wanted to talk about the origins. And you do need to understand the origin of it. Galactic power was not always a thing. Galactic power actually started when the first territory battle, which was Light Side Hoth, not even Dark Side Hoth, when Light Side Hoth was introduced, that was the first time Galactic Power was introduced because that's how they determine your score. You get points for your combat missions, but you also just get points for deploying your account. So that was when Galactic Power became a thing, and that was when guilds, the first time that guilds started looking and saying, hey, you know, Fat Phil, you don't belong in our guild because you have a million galactic power and we want people who have three million. And I mean, I can tell you I got booted from a guild. Not, I shouldn't say booted. I was, you know, I was in an alliance. So they moved me down to a guild of players who were similar size. But because galactic power became a thing and that was an important aspect of the game. And it still is to this day, just it's starting to become a little bit more of a number, especially as you get further and further in the game galactic power starts to mean a little bit less because you know what's the difference between a 13 million player and a 14 million player you know it's a million gp right so it you know that's a big number but if that 13 million player is a better player they could get more score they could be doing more right that that's when it starts to become a little bit less of you know more a little bit more of just a number whereas you know early on you're not going to look at somebody you know are you going to look at somebody with 8 million or somebody with 10 million, right? Well, you're going to look at the 10 million, you know? Um, so, it, you know, the origin of it being, hey, we needed it for territory battles. Because before that, it didn't exist. There was no such thing as galactic power. Characters had that little power thing in them. Like, when you go to a, your, like, roster and you click on, like, one of your little character icons and it's like, oh, you know, your Jedi Master Kenobi has 49,611 power. Like, that was there, but it didn't translate into a number up here, right? It just it just sat there. So, all that said, the other way galactic power gets important, right? So, obviously, for guilds, it's important. But the other way it becomes very important is conquest, needing it to be able to do proving grounds, right? When you look in here, proving grounds, the details, of course, it's not going to show me anything here. Um, but... Here you go, requirements. You have to be 4 million galactic power. That's the only other time that GP becomes important. And I was on my live stream the other night. And there was a player who was like 70 million galactic power short of being able to do proving grounds. And so I told them like, listen, just bloat your account between now and tomorrow to get to that 70,000 and get to proving grounds because it's very important. Once you hit 4 million... It's still nice to worry about your galactic power, but it's not, I'd say you want to, like, you almost want to bloat to 4 million, and then after that, you just want to slowly, in, you know, not slowly, but you slowly increase it just through actually doing farms, um, rather than, like, trying really hard to get there. One last thing I'll leave you guys with, I'm going to end this video here, I promise, I know it's, you know, there's only so much you can talk about galactic power. Back in the day, there was this huge deal where you didn't upgrade characters or you didn't unlock them because you didn't want to put the power in your roster. That like my Bodhi Rook is 4,600 power. And back in the day, players didn't like doing this because it would bloat them for Grand Arena. The thing is, it doesn't matter anymore. Grand Arena isn't based on 
your GP, right? It's not based on GP. So you could have as much or as little GP and it doesn't matter. It's not going to impact your matchmaking. It, it doesn't impact matchmaking anymore. You know, there's, I think they're trying to implement some measure of that, but it's not going to, like you get into Carbonite and you've got 650 or 700 million when you reach level 85, like that doesn't matter. You're still gonna, you're still gonna face the same opponents. So don't be afraid to have a little bit more GP because that will help you get into better and better guilds. So that's the end of the video. Like, subscribe, comment. I love all you. May the force be with you and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.